welcome back to my channel so today's video is gonna be a get ready with me also a self-care video and um a mini vlog like i'm gonna take you guys with me um first i'm gonna do my makeup like some items that i've got in so the items that i use i recently just got them i made another video where i showed the items and also i listed the items so if you like anything that i tried today you could oh you could always like go back to my video watch it and you could buy it it's my first time trying all of these i've never tried them before so it's gonna be like a review and i'm gonna be very honest with you guys so I'm gonna shade in my eyebrows a little bit. Since I'm using a black, um, I'm using a black pencil. I don't need to do too much. So I'm gonna use this concealer, um, Mocha, for my eyebrows. While I do my makeup, we're just gonna have like you know a little girl talk or whatever. And I'm just gonna tell you guys some of the things that I do to take care of my mental health, cause mental health is really important. Like a lot of us, we we try to like put our mental health to the side and prioritize everything else. But if your mental health isn't there, like, and nothing else should matter. Your mental health is definitely like one number one on the list. And for me personally, one of the things that I find that helps a lot. So it was a point in time where i would go to sleep um i wouldn't i i don't i wouldn't go to sleep early but i would turn off my phone at 11 p.m so like once it hit 11 like my phone would be off and like you cannot reach me um but i would keep my oh my god this concealer looks so good i feel like this is gonna be my new concealer this it looks good um when they said full coverage they wasn't lying like it looks it looks good so what i would do is like once it hit 11 I would like turn off my phone so like basically i would get off of social media but i'll have my macbook so i i, I could watch um netflix or hulu whatever i want to watch and also like just in case of any emergencies or something i would um i'll be able to re receive messages on um my macbook but the whole point is kind of to stay off of social media like you could watch movies and stuff like alone time but as long as you're off of social media I find that that helps that helped a lot um yeah i think yeah this 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 is really it this is this this is it i find that that really helps a lot and also it's always good to have like a journal i need to stop talking before my eyebrows mess up <gasps> what how did that end up over there try to scrub it out but i don't think it's, it's i love the texture of this oh my god i keep messing up be dirty so it doesn't even matter like there's already makeup on it but yeah so i found out that, that i find i found that that really helped so i wouldn't um I would I would turn off my phone at 11 p.m. and I would not turn on my phone until 12 p.m. the next day. So when I wake up, I would like prioritize everything else. I feel like a lot of us we really, really live in our phones, which isn't really good for you. I say like having like a notebook. So I'm about to use this um to blend out my my concealer. Having a notebook um writing down like how you feel and stuff that also might help. I personally don't do that. I used to do it like few years ago like when i was in high school i will i will write like i had a whole diary and so this day i still have the diary and it, it's just interesting looking back and like seeing like you know because some things that like, you might go through in a moment like you know in a moment it's like it's like a big deal to you but then later on in, in life you forget that it even happened and then when you look in your diary well i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but when you look in your diary it just reminds you like oh my god like this really happened like wow that's crazy but at the same time like it just shows you like you know you really got through it or whatever and when they say like better their days like it's really true so i feel like that i feel like that um that that's helpful as well i like this brush it's thick yeah i like this brush but yeah um helpful having a diary or just you know something like a calendar to help you like figure out your schedule and all that um turning off your phone is really helpful also listening to lectures and like motivational videos oh my god it's like it's it really it's really helpful because i feel like a lot of the time when we see successful people like we forget that everybody starts somewhere and if some if they could do it you could do it you could definitely do it like, no matter how hard you think it is, like, it's possible. The 
the lotion around my face um when you are going through it you need to take a lot of us think it's a joke when we be like oh focus on yourself but for real though when you're going through it you really need to focus on yourself whether so some of the stuff i do like you know because you know like when you when you're stressed some of the time it, it, it becomes like physical So my advice would be like if you're going through it you should definitely go you could go get a massage you could go to the spa get your feet rubbed because i know like there's some type of um there's some science behind it but like certain parts of your body affect your mood or like it's something like that but it's like when they rubbing on you and stuff like you know it helps a self-care routine something that you do a lot or like something that you do every month or so i don't want to put too much really think this is what i've been missing my whole life like literally the brush and the concealer is i'm not sure why nobody ever told me about this like this concealer and brush like it's never been this easy blending literally do y'all see how it's blending though like it's so perfect oh Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. So um I got I did my makeup and all that. I finally finished as you can see keep it natural and the lashes are really dramatic so you know you want to keep the look minimal. Um yeah, so right now I'm taking some pictures. I hope I get some good pictures because the sun went down. Alright, so I'm in Zara now and I'm about to see like what they got. And I'm not yeah, it's mad cute. But yeah. I'm gonna keep looking. My double chin is all in the camera. Like, I'm sorry, y'all. Matter of fact, why am I saying sorry? It's me and my pink camera. I look like a Barbie doll. So pretty. Mwah. But yeah, I can't find their sale section. So I guess we're just gonna call it a day and go somewhere else because if you don't got a sales section, I am not shopping with you because that means that you're not looking out for me. So I'm not looking out for you. A lot of people, when they're going through stuff, shopping is like a way for them to cope with their problems. And I 100% support it. Like, just buy all the stuff you need when you're depressed and stuff and you're stressed, you know, stressed and depressed. Buy all the stuff you need. And once you come to your senses, take it back to the store because I'm pretty sure you don't need whatever you bought. But yeah, that's another way, like a self care. If you feel like you need to treat yourself, like, definitely do it if it makes you feel better. But, you know, look cute, whatever, even if you're not going nowhere or you're going out by yourself, you can always dress up and take yourself out and, you know, be happy. Like, life is so short. You don't want to spend your life being stressed and depressed. You know, be happy. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this pink today. My camera's pink, my glasses pink, my lips is pink. I love it. But, yeah. So now we're in H&M and you already know I love when I was in high school I used to love H&M like I would go to H&M every single day so yeah I just I just um so yeah I just looked around and I don't see nothing I like you know sometimes H&M be giving white girl but it's fine um I didn't see anything I like so I'm gonna just keep just roaming around um another tip life is short go outside i'm gonna keep telling you life is short because it really is like you never know until somebody close to you passes away um if you're unhappy or you're stressed and depressed i don't know why i keep saying that it's because carisha carisha got me saying that carisha from my i'm gonna put the, i'm gonna put the video so y'all can see it's dumb funny bitch i'm gonna be bitch i'm gonna be sleep peacefully before i be drunk and motherfucking stressed and depressed with a piece of me and it ain't motherfucking mad bitch you should be serious but yeah, she's totally bad. Like you know, go outside. Even if you're not really going nowhere, you know, go get go get some coffee. If you like coffee, I don't like coffee. Go get whatever you want. Look at the Asian girls looking at me. But anyways, they, just take yourself outside. Don't always rely rely on people. And also, like you could go get massages. I really love to do that. Like a, a massage is something that's really like you could do by yourself. So you don't have to depend on someone. I'm somebody that I really like. I really like being around people. Like I like going places with people. I don't like being alone too much. I feel like when you're alone that's when your thoughts start to get to you um that's why they be like your biggest enemy is like your um your mind basically i think that's what it what that's what they said but like you know 
sometimes the you know the voice in our head it could really be your biggest enemy like it tells you everything that you don't want to hear so yeah I like to spend time around people however when it comes to massages I feel like it's something nice to just do by yourself if you're someone who you don't have anybody to go with you can always go by yourself get that massage you know let them let them rub on you let them rub all the stress out of you and yeah like when you have, when you're going through stuff always talk to somebody talk to somebody that you um that you oh, talk to somebody that you um trust that won't get your business out there because telling people is this is a tip to all the people that like to run their mouth telling people's business makes it way worse than you could imagine it could it, like somebody could be going through stuff and once you start telling it and it starts to get out like it just makes the situation that sounds worse for them so just think before you talk, talk about people's problems you know be a safe space for your friends let them come to you you know if your friend is going through something be the friend that's like you know okay let's 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 go grab something to eat let's go watch a movie you know let's go to this arcade let's just do something because we outside you know like i'm here to make you feel happy and to make you like feel like somebody loves you anyways um yeah. So right now I'm in I'm in um Starbucks. I'm about to get the strawberry acai drink. I hope I'm saying it correctly, but yeah. I'm for my drink right now. Um Yeah. Guess what I'm getting? Like guess in the comments what I'm getting. Whoever gets it correct, you get a kiss. I'm sorry, baby, but you should appreciate me. Congratulate me. This do not taste good, but I don't have energy to go back and tell him to change it. Mind you, I was waiting for like 20 minutes, so I'm not about to do that. I'm about to get, get some Chipotle now. I haven't had Chipotle since high school because I, it was like I ate it too much to the point where I didn't like it no more. I really stopped liking Chipotle. Alright, so I'm about to end my vlog here. I hope you guys enjoy my video. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for future videos. Um, if it, I hope you guys also take my self-care tips into consideration. If anybody needs somebody to talk to, you can always text me. You can DM me on Instagram. And also, like, if you want your identity to remain anonymous, you can also make a fake page on Instagram. It's very easy. And you can text me. I don't know how to know who you are. I could just be the person that you talk to when you're stressed and stuff. See y'all in my next video. Bye.